43, welcome back. A critical tool to predict dangerous weather is getting some updates. And meteorologist Elisa Rafa is joining us to explain exactly what that means. Elisa, we saw the piece. What stands out to you the most about the problems that uh, with this critical uh, technology being broken. First of all, we really missed it, right, Ted? Yeah. <laughs> when, when it was, you know, you don't realize how important something is until it's taken away from you, right? Yeah. So not having it for a month. Yeah, we had a, an outbreak uh, a while we with did. severe storms being threatened in the Carolinas, and we had to rely on Columbia instead of GPS. Other, other radars, and it's just like, yeah, it's crucial, and you know it is, yeah. and then it's taken away from you, and you're like, oh, my God, please bring it back. So it was difficult for us when we didn't have that radar. And then, yeah, it kind of, like, raised this head of, of talking about the radar coverage um, because, you know, as the piece mentioned, Charlotte is in this area where we get decent, okay radar coverage, but it could definitely be better, especially considering the size of the city, which, when the radars were put out in the 1990s, Charlotte wasn't is mm -hmm. what it is today, sure. what it was then. Sure. So, um, yeah, you know, it was interesting to really talk to um, Van Denton, that chief meteorologist out of the Piedmont Triad, who is really trying to push. Well, it's clear that technology is important. It's super cool, by the way, but, but how critical it is, you talk about it with it being gone for a month. How did the technology of the Doppler radar, how did it really change the game when it comes to you guys forecasting? I don't even know if I can understate or overstate how much it changed, Re literally revolutionized. Um, so I decided to call the piece Radar Revolution because it literally revolutionized the way that we forecast and warn for tornadoes. Because before these radars, it literally would be, oh, Bobby Brown, you got you got a little, you know, your shed got knocked over by a tornado. Let's just try to like word of mouth, just like warn people down the street that we mm -hmm. think it's coming. And imagine that that's how we warned for tornadoes wow. today. So it really revolutionized the way we were able to see that spinning on the radar. Um, and what I found so fascinating was a lot of that history and technology started with World War II. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now, uh, speaking from a forecaster's perspective, and we kind of can understand some of those limitations, uh, talk about, I guess, the network of radars, mm -hmm. how like one trades off to another, where if we're watching a line of storms come from the West, what happens if it gets out of the range of Greenville Spartanburg and then Raleigh has to pick it up? What happens to that trade off? Yeah, so the the radar beams are straight line, but the earth is curved. So because the earth kind of curves down, now you're looking above the storm and not really looking at the lower levels of the storm. So the farther away you get from the radar, the harder it is to see at the lower levels of the ground, which is crucial, obviously, when it comes to um, tornadoes. Another thing, too, is that the beam kind of deteriorates the farther out you get, like a flashlight. I love this analogy that Van Denton used, like a flashlight, right? If you're holding a flashlight right up into the wall, it's very bright, right, and intense. And then as you pull it away, that light doesn't shine as bright anymore, right? So there are some challenges as you get to the distance, which is why when they deployed these radars, they kind of checked on that mosaic of coverage, right? Mm -hmm. The kind of circles that you get with each radar. And they mentioned that they did strategically put them, especially in places that tend to get these big, big tornadoes like Oklahoma, Texas, yeah. you know, like some of those like plain states. It's a network that we take for granted yeah. until we know that, that we need it. So Elisa, thank you for yeah. that mm -hmm. piece. We appreciate it. And it's a good reminder, severe weather season around yes. the corner. Yeah. Download the Pinpoint Weather app or just anything to get those alerts. Yeah, it is coming real quick. Yeah. <laughs>